Hello, I am Petru from Gulian Technology. Today I would like to show you how you can address the SSH issue when you try to log in to your Cisco router or switch. Make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. Let's get started. I will check first the connectivity to my switch. I will run a ping command and I will add the ping I will add the IP address of my switch which is 172.16.10.1 and I press enter the ping is successful this means that I am able to reach the switch now I will run the SSH command I will specify with the dash L option the username which is Petru in my case and I will write the IP address of my switch which is 172.16.10.1 and I will press enter. As you can see the SSH client and server failed to agree on the key exchange algorithm. You can encounter the same error, the same issue on macOS also. In order to address this issue, we need to make some adjust, uh, adjustments to the default configuration for my SSH client. Let's try, let's start by editing the file. I will run the command sudo vim slash atc slash ssh slash ssh underscore config I will specify my password uh, I will run this password once again ok so at the end of this file we need to add the following lines I have saved them here I will copy them and I will paste them here I'll press the I on my keyboard and I will paste the config. Also, I will save the file. I will enter once again in the file. We need to look for the line ciphers, which is commented in my case. What we need to do also is to remove the pound the hash or pound sign from the beginning of the line we need to uncomment this line press the s colon and x to save the file and exit from the ssh underscore config <coughs> in order to apply these changes we need to restart the ssh server and client i will run the command sudo systemctl restart sshd I will check the status of the server to be sure that it is up and running it is active and running from 7 seconds ago now I will run the ssh command one more time I will add the IP address of my switch and I will press enter. Uh, ok, this time I was unable to log into my switch because I used this switch previously and I used this switch with a different private and public key. In order to correct this issue we need to remove from this file the line uh, ok I don't find it let me try one more time uh, so finding key is line number 8 I will remove the line number 8 I will press 8G I will go to the line number 8 and I will press DD 
and I will press ESC, add a colon, X, and save the file. I will repeat my SSH command. This, times, this time I am asked if I want to, con if I am sure and I want to continue. I will write S and I will press enter. And I will add the password for my switch. As you can see, I was able to log into my switch. I will check the SSH. As you can see, SSH version 2 is enabled. And if I run show SSH, we can check that user Petro is connected to the switch. This is all that I wanted to share with you today. Thank you for joining and goodbye.